I was contacted by a YouTube subscriber several months ago uh, with the offer of being taken on a walleye fishing trip. And we corresponded several times uh, since then. <clears throat> and uh, here we are. The plan is to spend seven, uh, now I think eight, eight full nights, seven full days uh, fishing uh, for walleye. This walleye fishing trip is new for me. I've never caught a walleye, nor have I ever tasted walleye. And my goal for the trip is to uh, catch some walleye and uh, have a uh, fish fry. A buttered chicken. It's a uh, it's a combination of uh, various different spices, uh, some some coconut coconut milk, uh, butter, lots of butter, uh, uh, garam masala, curry, uh, cumin, and um, about three or four other spices. Monday morning, we have a couple of portages today and then we'll base camp on this pond and fish a couple of lakes in the area as well as the pond itself that I hear has abundant walleye. set up for the next few days. My view for the next few days. I must say the uh, Portage Inn was say difficult but physically I don't want to say physically challenging it, it was uh, I'm tired I'll put it that way so anyways uh, let's see if I can hook into some wall here So I guess uh, within within 30 minutes, within 15 minutes, I caught my first walleye. Within 15 minutes of being in the canoe, uh, walleye number two. Those 
or some teeth. Yep, I'm 61 years old and I've never caught a walleye until today. I never really fished for them, but I've never tasted a walleye. That's going to be today, too. Oh. Get my two walleye and go get some firewood. So we came, came across an old abandoned beaver house, and my this is my bow, and my stern is as full. And, Sean is filling up his bow and stern as well. So we got enough firewood for, for sure tonight, if not tomorrow night. But there's plenty more at the abandoned beaver house as well. So uh, we've caught four walleye today. We caught four yesterday, but they were two in the morning, two in the afternoon, and we let them go. But I'm um, going to be frying them up tonight. So we've got some nice fillets here that I'm cutting into chunks. Four there. We're going to bread them, deep fry them in my pan, over the fire. Never had walleye before, so this is going to be the first for me. This bag. And I got a cornmeal bread mix with some spices in it. Put some fish in. Yeah. You ready? There you go. One end. That end is good. You need a stir? No. So we have two batters going. We have a cornmeal flour batter with some uh, spices. And uh, Sean's is, uh, what's yours? What's your uh, batter? The Bannock Spice Mix. Now we got spices and batters. I don't think we're going to go wrong. I don't think so. Our view. Four, so this is going to be a new, new taste for me. can feel that cooked on that side, so. That's 
that's fantastic. Well, I'm glad I was here to uh, be part of that. Yeah, thanks. I hooked into one. I'm turning the boat around here. There you go. We're gonna come up this side now. Little fella. I guess so. Nice one. Real meaty. Kelly, that's a beauty. Very fat fish. rain. I'll say this to remind myself, I'm not happy with the tent. I'm glad I have the tarp. Thursday morning. We just had our coffees and we're headed over to uh, a larger lake with potentially larger walleye. Uh, it sounds like we're going to have a lunch along the shore at that lake. And if all goes well, that'll be a fish lunch.
Alright, we're on our the lake we're gonna be fishing for the day. We just put down a rappella deep diver. We'll probably have the lake to ourselves. Fish, fish, fish. No, he's deep! He's fing deep. Yeah. Still there. Hang on here. This is a challenge, isn't it? Woo! You got her, buddy. Hang on to her. That'll be a big one. Yeah, yeah. Fucking big one. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, it's a bass. Big one, though, eh? Yeah, big one. Oh, it's a monster. Holy Put that in the net. That's about a five pound, four or five pound box. Yeah. Nice slab. I know, eh? It is a nice slab. <laughs> <laughs> 